Day 7. Yesterday we learned what constitutes a healthy diet. Fresh, wholesome and nutritious. While we covered the importance of fresh and wholesome food in yesterday's video, today we will explore more about nutrition. What are the macronutrients in our food today? Nutritious substances are naturally occurring chemical substances which are present in food. These substances are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, which are together called as macronutrients, and vitamins, minerals, which are called micronutrients, and dietary fiber. All foods contain these substances in varying proportions. Certain foods may contain singularly one particular macronutrient in large proportion. Examples are table sugar containing mostly carbohydrates or oils containing mostly fats etc. Rice has more carbohydrates but it has small amount of protein too. While pulses like legumes or dals have higher protein content. So by combining such foods for example rice with dal we inherit the nutrients from both the foods. Our aim should be to take foods which have a balanced proportion of all three nutrients. A good example of a balanced meal would be a combination say of rice, dal and cooked vegetables along with a salad. The, a diet should focus on providing all the nutrients that your body needs. The macronutrients, the micronutrients, the vitamins, minerals, dietary fiber all have a diet different role in, to play in maintaining various body functions. Most dietary guidelines emphasize on having food which is 45 to 65% carbohydrates, 20 to 35% fat and remaining 10 to 35% of proteins. However, instead of focusing on percentages as these can be often very confusing for people, especially beginning in their journey, it is best to look at your plate and make sure that more than 50% of it is filled with fruits and low starch vegetables in the form of salads, raw food, etc. This colorful healthy combination will provide you with adequate doses of dietary carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals. Add in a few beans and toss some nuts to get your protein and fat for the day. How do we make sure we get a balanced diet containing all three macronutrients and micronutrients? Make sure you get a combination of all major food groups, fruits and vegetables, cereals and pulses, fats and oils. Without a need to keep count, it is acceptable if you consume cereals, pulses and fats in the morning and just fruits and vegetables in the evening. I'll discuss each macronutrient in detail in upcoming videos. Dive deep to know in what form they exist in nature. How can we effectively harness them? Their functions in our body. How much do we need each of the macronutrient? Understanding their requirements and functions will give you the power to decide if you need them or not. Tomorrow we'll talk about carbohydrates and why it's important. So, signing off today, take care and keep up the good stuff.